Hello. <clears throat> part two. So in part two, all of these objects all have materials assigned to them. So the dark chocolate monkey has its own dark chocolate assigned to it. And the white chocolate bar has some white chocolate assigned to it. And this particular bar is a multiple um, material. So if we're looking here, we've got dark chocolate, white chocolate, and normal chocolate, basically. Yeah? Okay, so what the idea here is, I want all of these objects to be milk chocolate, which is this one here. So let's see what happens when we go and do this. So again, this will be the last thing I selected. So click off it. Let's go and select the milk chocolate bar. Hold down shift and add to our selection with the shift key still held down. Add the dark chocolate bar, the dark chocolate monkey head, and the one with the multiple materials in it. With all three different types of chocolate in the chocolate bar. And then the last one is the chocolate monkey. That's what, what we want it to be. So if we go to object, <coughs> make links and go materials, bada boom, bada boom, what happens is everybody gets called, everybody gets the um, normal chocolate. If we're looking on here, that's a normal chocolate, that's a normal chocolate, that's a normal chocolate. So what's gone wrong here, what's happened here is The one that the dark chocolate has been replaced with the normal chocolate. We've also got a chocolate one here, and we've still got the white chocolate. So to fix this, what I'm going to do is just delete these two. So press the minus key. Okay, that's looked it up. White chocolate. Press the minus key. So that's one way of doing it. There you go. So yes, you can add multiple selections, but if you've got objects with Multiple materials, you need to like uh, clean them out to make it work. Right, that concludes that little video. Next one then.